Good day everyone, welcome back again guys. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix GSA Amnitra black screen issue after launching game. So, let's get started. Now, there are a lot of reasons of black screen in GSA Amnitra with Twitch games. Some games show black screen in user emulator after launching and some games show black screen after starting. Now for example I play this game in Yuzo. So I play it. So now I press L or so as you can see guys this game shows black screen. Now I restart this emulator. Now I open user emulator again and I play another game in user emulator. So I have Pokemon Building Diamond. I open it. Guys, some games work after long loading in user emulator. So you will have to wait for some time. So as you can see guys, black screen is showing after launching game. So guys, I have some best solution of uh, this uh, problem in user amateur with switch games. So first of all, uh, you need uh, latest firmware and latest prop keys. So open your user emulator and uh, uh, you can uh, get a little firmware from the internet. So I have already downloaded. So here is my little spin there. Good file and open user amulet folder. Click here. Good name. System. And then register. And put the spin there. Copy these all files. and paste here now close this uh, folder and close it and guys if you are using little finger then you will have to uh, update your uh, top keys for his uh, good file open this folder and keys so here is my keys file top keys I have the latest keys. This is my key. Sorry guys. Up here. I think it is called. Yep, keys 13.0. I copy it. And paste here. Replace the file. Click here. So update your keys and close it. And restart the emulator. And I play this game and wait for some time. Now guys, this game will work 100% after using little firmware and plot kit in Hyozo emulator. Now I press L and R. And here we go. As you can see guys, the game is working and second solution of uh, a black screen problem close the emulator first. If you uh, wanna solve your uh, uh, black screen problem in user emulator after uh, launching games in GSO, guys, uh, I wanna tell you something more about user emulator because uh, many people use uh, a normal uh, version of user emulator on, on their PC. So I have a normal user and I have um, user early access. So here is. Uh, you use a canary a normal version so guys this is the best emulator user early access the so user early access is better than a normal version user emulator so you can use user early access uh, on your pc because the user early access is, is the best emulator for uh, a gaming performance you can get user early access from the internet now i close this emulator uh, I go to my PC, uh, this PC and uh, go to uh, right click and go to properties and over here guys you can see installed memory RAM. So there is 
use able option showing so fix this error because uh, you can use uh, 4.47 gigabytes uh, uh, RAM memory in your PC so this is the reason of black screen in Visual. so fix this error so go to your uh, uh, Windows startup type here uh, MS config MS config so guys this is a big reason I'll press enter and go to put and advanced option uncheck this option maximum memory guys if you want to use your uh, uh, total RAM memory in your PC 8GB so uh, I have uh, uh, total memory RAM 8GB so I can use 8GB RAM uh, after uh, unchecking this option in my PC so uncheck this option and after unchecking this maximum memory option this use able option will be fixed okay now close it and one more thing guys uh, over here guys uh, you have to select number of processor so check this option and select four so because uh, my pc is four core then i select four and if your pc uh, is uh, eight core or six core then select big number from here six or eight but my pc is uh, uh, four core so i select four guys uh, one more thing if uh, you are using four core cpu uh, then go to emulation and configuration and uh, select this one multi-core cpu emulation check this option okay so it's very important guys for uh, more and uh, maximum performance uh, for switch games and user emulator okay so select big number from here and uncheck maximum memory option and ok and apply and ok and restart your PC so after starting your PC open your user emulator and do some settings in your user emulator for switch games go to emulation and configuration and go to uh, CPU and select auto general and check this option multi-core CPU emulation check this option and go to graphics and select Vulkan because the Vulkan is the best option for more FPS and maximum performance for gaming and user emulator so select Vulkan and select GPU decoding from here and go to advanced and guys it's very important if you are using Vulkan then disable this option and check it because we are using Vulkan so able OpenGL only uncheck this option and check this option and select high and go to controls and check this option dot and ok and go to the game you want to play in user emulator right click go to properties and go to general and check this option multi core cpu emulation and the system cpu select auto graphics check these options select vulcan gpu decoding and advanced select high and uncheck OpenGL only this option and it's done click OK now I go to my this PC and right click go to properties and as you can see guys use able option has been removed from here after doing some setting from msconfig so I can use my 8GB install RAM in my PC for my user emulator now close it and close it and one more thing guys go to emulation configuration and uh, graphics and select resolution 1x ok don't select any other option select 1x from here ok ok and play the game
wait for some time. So as you can see Pokemon Brilliant Diamond is working. And uh, one more thing guys, uh, don't leave, uh, don't skip this part. Right click, go to your uh, uh, and media control panel. If you are using old vision drivers for your GPU, then please please update your driver's vision for your GPU. Here is my system information. So I show you my driver version. So here is my driver version. I'm using 496.49. So update your drivers for your GPU. And if you want more settings for your GPU, you then go to adjust image setting and check this option and select performance this one and check this option click on apply and go to manage 3D settings select performance power management mod select it and select uh, maximum performance from here and scroll down and quality texture filtering quality select high performance from here and it's done click on apply and close it now guys you can play any switch game in user emulator without uh, black screen and any other issue so guys uh, in this video if i help you so please help me by subscribing to my channel i really need your help please guys subscribe to my channel hit red button and thanks for watching bye bye guys